Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss mathematics paper 2, longitudes and latitudes, number 19. The question says that an aircraft took off from point D, Y degrees south, 5 degrees west, at 0 to 18 hours local time. It flew a distance of 2,002 kilometers due east to another point F, Y degrees south, 31 degrees east. After a stopover of 15 minutes at point F, the aircraft took off and flew for 5 hours 30 minutes due north to point H. The aircraft maintained an average speed of 455 kilometers per hour for the journey from D to F and also from F to H. Part A taking pi to be 22 out of 7 and the radius of the earth to be 6,370 kilometers. Calculate the part 1, position of F. So let me first of all sketch the information provided here about the positions on the earth's surface. This is a rough sketch of the globe. We have uh, the prime meridian, then we have the equator. Now we are told that uh, there is a point D, y degrees south. So this is y degrees south. Then now D is lying on 5 degrees in the west. So in the west, we can talk of uh, 5 degrees. So this is where our D is going to be. This is 5 degrees in the west. There is another point whereby the plane is going to fly a distance of 2,002 kilometers due east to F, still on the same latitude, but 31 degrees in the east. So this is 31 degrees in the east, which means our point F is here. Now we are to find the position of F. Something we should understand is that uh, the two places are lying on the same latitude. That means moving from D to F is moving along a small circle or rather along a parallel of latitude. So we are first of all to begin with a formula which says that distance, for this case in kilometers, along a small circle is usually given by data divide by 360 then 2 pi r cosine of the latitude where the two places are the distance is already provided from a d to f a distance of 2002 kilometers so 2002 kilometers equals to the angle difference from 5 degrees in the west all the way to 31 in the east. Remember the two places are on opposite sides of the prime meridian. Therefore, the angle difference should be the sum of the two longitudes. We need 5 plus 31, giving us 36. Divided by 360, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22 out of 7, multiplied by R, 6370, cosine of the latitude where the two places are of course cosine of y now because the latitude is latitude y actually we could have said latitude y so cosine of y but now when we compute this side we're going to get 2000 equals to 400 uh, 4004 cosine of the latitude which means to remain with cosine of latitude, we should talk about 2002 out of 4004. This gives us 0 0.5. This is to mean that now we can obtain the latitude itself, which is the cos inverse of 0 0.5. And when you compute this, we shall get 60 degrees. And this is to mean that uh, F is a place 60 degrees in the south then uh, 31 degrees 
in the east. So that is the position of F. Let's go to H. We want the position of H. Now when we follow the information here, we are told that uh, after a stopover of 15 minutes at point F, the aircraft took off and flew for 5 hours 30 minutes due north to H. Therefore, this plane is going to fly from this point upwards. Which means because it's flying for 5 and a half hours, that is 5 hours 30 minutes, then we are told that uh, it maintained an average speed of 4 55 then we can get the distance it's going to cover upwards so the distance is going to be speed times time a speed of 455 multiplied by five hours and a half five hours 30 minutes means 5.5 hours and this is going to give us 2502 0.5 kilometers so now already we have the distance from point f to unknown point h so what we should tell ourselves now is that uh, the distance remember from f we are moving northwards which means we are moving along that longitudes distance along a longitude is called distance along a great circle and for this case it's in kilometers so distance in kilometers along a great circle it's usually given by theta over 360 2 pi r so we will now say the distance is known equals to the angle difference is not known over 360 times 2 times pi times r 6370. So for us to remain with theta now, we can first of all compute this side and remain with theta. We need to take 2502.5. We multiply by 360 and also by 7. Then we divide by 2 by 22 by 6370. And this will give us an angle difference of 22.5 degrees now with an angle difference of 22.5 degrees and we are moving from 60 degrees remember this one has been solved 60 degrees in the south that means we're going to cover from 60 towards zero remember it's towards latitude zero but we shall not cover the 60 degrees so we will not cross to the north hemisphere we shall still be on the southern side but now we will be subtracting from 60 degrees we shall be subtracting 22.5. And this is going to take us to exactly 37.5 degrees. Therefore, we will be at latitude 37.5 degrees, but still in the south. So we can talk of now position of H, which is 37.5 degrees in the south. 31 degrees in the east because we are moving along that great circle and moving along that great circle through an angle difference of 22.5 then we should find ourselves at 37.5 remember if the angle difference was greater than 60 then it would have made that we are moving through the whole 60 degrees in the southern hemisphere then crossing over some degrees on the northern hemisphere so if we have not gone through an angle difference greater than 60 degrees then we are still in the southern hemisphere so that is uh, the position of h and finally we are told to determine the local time at point h when the aircraft arrived this aircraft okay we can already know the speed at uh, the time that was taken because we are having the speed of the aircraft as 455 remember the first distance so time from um, the first journey was from d to h d to f sorry so from d to f we shall have a distance of 202 
then we divide this distance by a speed of 455 kilometers per hour the time we shall get here the time we shall get here is equal to 4 hours 24 minutes Four hours 24 minutes again there is a uh, the stopover again time this time one let me talk about time two this is a stop the stoppage so the stopover took 15 minutes 15 minutes again there is the time the third time will be from F to point H which is going to be 5 hours 30 minutes this is generally the total time taken but now there is another issue of time difference remember we are moving from D which is in the west to F which is in the east for F and the place that we are calling H, remember H is here now. H is somewhere here, 37.5 degrees still in the south. But now for F and H, local time is usually the same because they are places on the same longitude. While for a place in the west, that is a place like D, it will be having a very different time. So the local time at D is not the same as the local time at F and H. But now that is something that we can take care of. We just tell ourselves that uh, we usually say one degree difference is equivalent to four minutes. Then now we shall talk of what about the 36 degrees? So it will be four by 36 over one. Then now this will be minutes. So we can divide by 60. So that we get the time in hours. And this is going to exactly be 2 hours 24 minutes. 2 hours 24 minutes. The next question we shall be asking ourselves is. The time this plane or this aircraft was starting its journey. It was 0218 local time at D. So it was not so for F and H. Time was ahead because those are places in the east. So time difference is usually added if we are moving to the east. Places in the east are ahead in time. Therefore, this is another way of saying when it was 0 to 18 at D, at F and H, time was 2 hours ahead. So 2.24 and this is going to be 18 plus 24 this is going to be 2 42 minutes then this is a 04 so it was 04 42 hours that is the time at f and h when it was 0 to 18 at d now this is the time which we are going to add time taken to so we should take 04 Four two, then we add. There is the first four hours twenty four minutes. Then there is a fifteen minutes stoppage. Then there is a five hours thirty minutes. So the first thing now is to compute uh, the minutes side whereby we need to take 42 plus 24 plus 15 plus 30 this is going to be 111 minutes that means there is an hour and 51 minutes so 111 minutes means there is a one hour and 51 minutes so we write 51 minutes and we carry one hour to this point so 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5. This is 5, 9, 14. So this is 14, 
51 hours. That is the arrival time. We can also convert this one to 2.51 p.m. The local time when the aircraft arrived at point H. Thank you so much for following. Subscribe and share.